Hey guys, this morning I had a question on one of my YouTube videos that was asking about super fat. I'm not going to get into the long drawn out part of the, you know, math equations and stuff like that, but essentially if you were to start with a 0% super fat, that is the exact amount of lye to turn a certain amount of oil into soap that's needed to make all of that oil into soap. So, you know, 0% super fat with olive oil is going to be a certain number of grams of lye to a certain number of grams of oil, olive oil, to get a 0% super fat. You've used, the lye has used all of the oil that it needs to turn that into soap. Not a great bath soap, great all purpose general cleaning soap, maybe. The reason we super fat is to make a bar less harsh, irritating, maybe a little more moisturizing. I mean, honestly, let's be real folks. Soap's not meant to be a moisturizer. Soap is meant to get you clean, but you can do that, get yourself clean with a less harsh soap, more gentle soap, if that makes sense. Uh, you want moisturizing, you know, there are ways to do that, natural lotions and things like that, your diet, your hydration, you know, drink plenty of fluids, things like that. But honestly, people put a little too much emphasis sometimes on making a conditioning bar of soap. That's kind of not its job. No! Sorry about that. I don't, I never get phone calls this time of the day. Anyway, so that's not really the soap's job is to be conditioning. To be less harsh, sure. Cleansing, yes. Conditioning, not so much. You can, but then you make the effectiveness of the cleaning go down the more conditioning you make the bar. So you got to find a balance somewhere in there, guys. To figure out super fat, there is a math formula. It's, it's, not, it's not super hard. And maybe I'll do another video that shows how to work it out by hand. But honestly, guys, just think of it like this. Whatever amount of oil you use above and beyond what's needed for the lye to turn it completely into soap is super fat. So, you know, a general good starting place that I get most people going uh, on a regular bath soap is 5% super fat. Go to the lye calculator that somebody suggested to you. I'm going to suggest soap calc just because it's the one I've always used and it's been pretty consistent and I like it. Um, I don't agree with all the numbers that come out, but you know, I've learned how to work around it and that's what you got to do too. If you're going to get into making soap, the first thing I'm going to tell you is you kind of got to learn to use the tools and figure things out. Get on your lie calculator, figure out a simple soap first. Don't, don't go all nuts. You know, you see everybody doing, you know, six oils and three butters and swirly colors and shapes and Everybody wants to start with that one first, and it makes zero sense. Any of you with little toddlers out there, did you sling them up at a month old and get their feet moving so that they could walk? No. Start slow and simple. Pick one, maybe two oils. Start with that. Figure out how to turn those oils into soap. Then play with the amount of super fat, and you can plug that right into your lie calculator. It'll, it'll tell you, you know, it'll have a spot, super fat percentage, and you can say 5%, 8%, 10%. Usually I stay between 5 and 12%, depending on the soap. Coconut oil soap, if you're going for a straight up all coconut oil, um, 18 to 20% you can go. You don't have to. I mean, I've had some as low as uh, 5 to 8 that were really good and weren't drying to the skin. I have no idea why, but they weren't. Um, but that's what's recommended, somewhere in those levels. And then go from there. Play with the numbers, you know, play with the amounts in the calculator first. Then go back and learn the math and things, you know, the why, what's behind it, and the science and math and everything else. So don't get too hung up on it, guys. Super fat's not that complicated. In cold process soap, if you do a 5% super fat, all your oils are going to be mixed together. You're going to add them all at once. The lye is going to pick which oils it wants to be the super fat. You have really almost no option there. 
Um, even if you get it to trace and then add a little bit of melted shea butter in there, blend it, it's still going to pick some of that other stuff or, you know, olive oil extra, anything like that. It's still going to kind of pick what it wants. You know, there, there's very little control to that. If you're doing hot process, you can get the cook done. And just at the end, pretty much when you're done cooking it and it gets to that, that gelatin like stage, I call it the mashed potato stage. If you add another oil or fat to your soap at that point, you can pretty much guarantee that most of what you just added is going to be the oil that is the super fat component. I don't do hot process much anymore because I'm not a patient man. I want to start making my batch, get it done, get it in the molds and move on. And most of that comes from running a store, running an online business, you know, keeping other things in stock, dealing with customers, things like that. And YouTube, you know, so it, it's a combination. I had to kind of pick and choose and my path is mostly cold process and it works out just fine. So, I'm not worried about what it, my actual super fat component is, which oil, which fat, and all that, because the percentage is more important to me, if that makes sense. And if I need extra conditioning after I've used that soap, which my soaps don't dry me out, but if I feel like I want a little something extra, straight shea butter, perfect. Straight coconut oil, perfect. Not everybody can do, you know, some people can't do either one, I don't know. If you need a regular lotion because that's what you've used your whole life, great. That's all there is to it, guys. It's not super complicated. It's not witchcraft. Don't let the people browbeat you into, you know, you have to do it this way. No. Just start simple and slow, guys. Don't start out, you know, running a marathon when you can't even walk yet. That's what I would recommend. So I will do another video, hopefully this week. I'm trying to figure out a way. I mean, I've already dragged on for how long on this one? Like eight minutes? I'm going to try to figure out a way to do one that's short that shows you the basic math formula for figuring out super fat from the sap values of different oils. So maybe I'll put a chart up and that, you know, gives the sap values and then you, there's a number that you multiply by to get that value. So I'm going to try to work that out so that it's not dragging on like this one. <laughs> All right, guys, have a great rest of your day. If you got any questions, leave a comment down below. Give us a thumbs up. And uh, hey, if you got something out of these videos and you want to see more, click subscribe and the bell icon. That way you won't miss them.